Hello and welcome to a tutorial on RPG Developer by Keen. Today I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of advanced work uh, with button presses. Um, I've posted my video on my action RPG that I've started working on. Um, I haven't really done much with it. Uh, I've been playing around with hit detection, but it's not working how I want it to. Um, I can still use the default system, but I'm trying to get around that because I want to try to use my own system, but it's not working 100%. So. All right, back to that. So today, I'm going to show you how to, whenever you press, say, Y or B or triangle or circle on your controllers, it'll um, do an action, and it'll change the sprite, or it'll do whatever action you want it to. So from here, you're going to go to Common Events over on the um, Common Events palette and add a custom event, because we're going to do, uh, we're going to make our own uh, everything. Um, make sure it's automatically started and repeated in parallel. So insert event panel, variable bots assignment. Oh, nope, not that one, sorry. Advanced variable bots operation. To what? I already made the two variables real quick before we started. So it's gonna be Y pressed and B pressed. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and make these. Fits value would be the operation key and Y would be, oh, not menu, I'm sorry would be jump and do what is assigned. You're going to copy and paste that again. B, B pressed, same thing. You're gonna change that to action two, because that is for B. All right, so you apply that, okay. And then it, um, we're gonna go ahead and name our events. Come on, I don't, there we go. Button mapping, all right. And we're going to make sure that we go to our game definition and make sure that even if you do have jumps on, that's fine. You would just have to change it to a different button if you're using jump button. Um, just make sure you set the jumping strength down to zero so that way you won't jump. And also make sure there's something else. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, this. I always turn that on. Uh, hide title during test play. So it makes it a lot faster to debug everything. All right, so if you press F5 on your computer, see when I'm pressing triangle, it's showing that I'm pressing triangle. You can't see on the screen, but or on my controller, but I'm pressing triangle, and I'm pressing B, and that works. So this is me holding B, and this is me holding Y. Now, I fiddled around with it. Technically, you can hold B and it will do something, but there's no, I haven't found a way. I mean, there is probably a way like you'd have to go through each button impress and, and make a variable to say that if they're all zero, that means that there's no input and that means you can do something. And that means that uh, you can uh, change stuff which I might have to do if you want to like have a B button to like charge or something or like a Y that charges something um, But we won't get into that. All right, so we're gonna go back to the, the thing So back to here button mapping So insert event panel. We're going to go conditional Hold on Pull this out a little bit more conditional judgment and we're going to check variable bots and it's when Y pressed is equal to two, which means it's been tapped. Don't know why it's two, but it's literally the only way it seems to work. So like, I'll give you a quick example of like what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so Y, we'll leave that at two, and then we'll go to B, B pressed is equal to two as well. So for right now, if Y is pressed, we're going to do a simple, um, where is it? Player, change cast graphic. You'll wanna make sure your change to cast to be changed. Make sure, I, I always start with a blank slate, so mine's simple. So hero, change on the map. You'll just go to your stamp, reserved. 2D cast, hero cast, hero. And then you'll pick which option you want. We're going to have him do... Um, I don't know. I 
let's have him do let's have him do the ats attack i like that okay now if you want to make it like a fast animation you'll want to not tick this box because if you tick the whole box he's going to do the whole animation and stop the way we stop that is if you have a wait in between so you're going to go to control wait specific time about 0.3.2 is a sweet spot and then you're going back to insert event panel uh, player change cast graphic back to i like doing this because it's actually kind of cool um because uh, it shows that like you know he just did a motion so like he's tired um come on come on mouse okay hero and then wait two because like look he's like he's ready to go again so i like i like that animation so we'll wait um so now if we do that let's just hit apply so when i hit triangle see does it really fast but if you wanted to like i said you could go back button mapping um generally you wouldn't have all this in here um you can uh but i generally like to call a common event or another event that uh, handles everything just because it's cleaner uh but for now you can definitely just keep it as is but uh here this is what will happen if you play the whole motion actually it doesn't really change Okay, here let's let's tweak it just a little bit wait like five seconds five is probably the sweet spot eh, it's still a little slow let's do like i said 0.4 is like generally the sweet spot yeah okay that's okay so see, he does a little animation, and then like you can walk right back to normal. And see, look, actually, I'm actually still holding. See how it changes? So I'm tapping two, and it goes to one. So I'm still holding triangle, but it's still, see how it goes straight to one? All right, we're going to try something. I'm not 100% sure it's going to work, but it might. But here, let's let's try this. So we're going to paste that. We're going to do equals to one. And we're going to try this. Uh, we'll change it to um, we'll change it to guard. Okay. So if he's holding on to triangle, we're going to guard. Let's try that real quick. Alright, so to see if you tap it. Oh! Okay, so it kind of works. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. We might we may be on to something. So let's see. I need to delete that. I may, I may have figured something out. <laughs> All right, so tap that. Yeah, okay. Well, that works. Cool. So yeah, like yeah, like that, see? So I'm still holding triangle and when I let go, okay, yeah. So it does work. Cool. So I kind of figured something out in this video. So I'm still holding triangle, which means I'm kind of guarding, I guess. Okay, awesome. <laughs> the more you know, huh? All right. Um, back to this. Uh, for B, um, I don't know. What we're gonna do for B. We'll do something different though. Let's see. Paste. Uh, we'll do. No. Sure, we'll do him kicking. Okay. But we won't wait for the motion to end. Okay. All right. And about right here is where you would want to add a sound to around here. I'm not going to because I'm not. 
I, that's just what you would want to do for yourself. I'm not going to. Um, so apply, okay, test. So B. Yeah, cool. You hit it. I can hold that. Very nice. All right, cool beans. All right, well, cool. Now we know that we can do a little something. Okay, so, um, all right, what else can we do? Um, it's really about it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I will, um, um, answer as best I can. Just message me on Discord, and I will talk to you all soon. All right.